Hello guys, uh, today we are going to learn about how to draw a retaining wall and its quantity calculation in Excel. So let's start. <coughs> uh, draw a retaining wall of height 3 meter and also estimate the quantities required for 20 meter length. We need to keep swelling height of 15 centimeter, PCC 10 cm and screening of 75 mm and both side and bottom slope of 1 is to 10 so let's draw this figure at first in AutoCAD uh, generally we keep our top height top width of 0.5 so let's start 500 0.5 meter which is 500 mm and now uh, draw construction line draw construction line in both side XL enter B enter vertical construction line now since uh, we have to draw the height of 2 meter so offset 2 meter means 2000 2000 mm so enter and then offset it to 2000 mm and also the side slope is uh, 1 is to 10 so from this height is 2 meter so offset uh, 2 meter divided by uh, 1 is to 10 2 meter in 1 is to 10 slope so side slope will be in 200 so offset because 2 meter means 2000 mm and 2000 mm divided by 10 is 200 so 200 and then offset it to this side now we can extend our this line to this portion and from here we need to draw uh, the baseline of our retaining wall which is uh, 0 0.5 times h so our total height is 2 meter so 0 0.5 times 2 is 1 so offset 1 is 1000 so from this line you have to offset this now extend now again the bottom slope is in 1 is to 10 so uh, offset uh, this is a thousand from here to here is thousand mm so thousand mm by 10 is 100 so offset 100 into now simply our wall is completed now draw a line from this point to this bottom slope and here <coughs> and then here our returning wall now we can simply delete these construction lines delete we can also delete this and this simply our retaining wall looks like this so as in the question suggests uh, draw a retaining wall of height 3 meter sorry we have drawn only 2 meter so let's edit it to 2 meter and also estimate the quantities required for 20 meter length swelling height of 15 centimeter and PCC of 10 centimeter so PCC offset 10 centimeter means 100 mm so PCC here it comes and swelling of 15 centimeter so offset 150 mm now uh, you can simply draw a line starting from this point again now extend the sphere ex double enter yeah it has and this point also touch this now trim the unnecessary part this person this person trim trim well our retaining wall looks like this now we also need to draw a weepal at certain portion uh, we generally keep uh, one 1.5 meter square in the gap of 1 to 1.5 meter square so let us draw a simple we pull off uh, about 3 inch diameter 
you can simply draw people like this okay. offset 3 inch means 75 mm so offset 75 mm mm offset 75 okay now now extend well this is we pull which is uh, generally needed to drip of the water and now we need to open our excel file uh, okay let us open one excel file now we need to add the portions now let add enter uh, add pick points so this point this point and this point okay now m a nets uh, these two here this portion also and our action sheet is opening so and uh, this portion also needed to be asked okay skip again add enter add peak point this our PCC portion now map m a enter select the source object this is our source object and now yeah, well, our returning wall looks like this. This is we pull off 75 mm diameter, and now we have to do the quantity calculation in Excel sheet. And this is of 20 meter long. So, how we do its estimation is uh, let us open the new Excel sheet. And the things we need is we need for the estimation is serial number at first serial number particulars particulars uh, number length width height and uh, quantity quantity unit remarks so let's start at first uh, soling is done so Number one, soling. Soling. Let us put number one, length. Length is uh, 20 meter. So we can direct calculate the area, A R E area, and it's uh, we can obtain from Excel. We can obtain from AutoCAD drawing. A A enter. Our area is 150748 mm square 
1.5078.13 it's in mm square so you need to divide this by this uh, divide by 100 again into 100 sorry 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 divide by uh, 1 meter is equals to 1000 mm so 6 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 0 0.15 so area is directly given by uh, 0 0.15 unit is in meter okay now second is second is PCC PCC uh, PCC of uh, we generally do 1 is to 2 is to 4 1 is to 2 is to 4 number 1 length is 20 meter uh, we can again calculate the area area and it's given in AutoCAD we can take it from AutoCAD PCC AA enter one zero zero four nine eight point seven five one zero zero four nine eight point seven five it's zero point one zero area is zero point one zero sorry the unit in meter Sorry, the unit of swelling is in meter cube, meter square. Meter cube, meter cube. Area. Control X. Control B. Now, swelling PCC. Now, third stone masonry work. Stone, stone, mass, iron, or stone masonry works. Works which is in one is two. One point five is two three number is one length is same. We can calculate the area at all. So now let us calculate the area. We have two parts this and this. So a a enter. One area is 6198558.12 6918558.12 and uh, other person area is 1.5 Eight five nine four six nine point seven six. Now let us add these two. This plus this is our total area. So this area divide by two three four five six, which comes in meter one point five five. One point five five. Unit is in meter cube. Now. 4 it's screening at the top c r e e d i n g screening c r e e d i n g screening 
uh, in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 uh, number 1 uh, length 20 meter uh, 20 meter and uh, 0 0.5 top width width 0 0.5 so its unit is in meter square now we can simply calculate this by multiplying this this multiply by equals to equals to this into this into this three uh, we can simply pull this and we can yeah and 31 and again this multiply by this enter so total quantity uh, required for 20 meter length and 2 meter height uh, retaining wall is swelling 3 meter cube PCC 2 meter cube Eastern Masonry work 31 meter cube and spreading 10 now after obtaining the quantity you can simply multiply it by rate and get the final amount and also in case of weep hole you can count the number of weep hole and then you can simply obtain the length from its autocad and then you can calculate the quantity for weep hole thanks for watching guys stay safe And don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel.